Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Cain, Blood Omen. I'm your host, Lincoln Medarius. Last we left off, we had the heart of darkness. come into the house of the ever-so-lovely toy maker, and shit's just straight-up freaking Tim Burton creepy at this point. Oh, hey, health up. How generous of you. Uh-huh. Alright, there's got to be something I can control. Hmm. Ah, uh, but my magic is low. I guess I got to use another one of these. Just kind of spam it until I hit something. Oh wait, what am I thinking? Werewolf. Because I can jump over stuff as a werewolf. Don't want to get exploded. Alright, I think for the sheer purpose of not dying in the next couple of rooms. Okay. See, I always thought that the Heart of Darkness only healed just a little bit. Little did I know, it actually heals like a percentage. That gold. I'm not sure what that is. Doesn't exactly look healthy for me to step in. Also, can I just say, think crap it for flaming swords. Oh, there's a dude there. Excuse you. You gotta love when you're like five foot from a person. And they're able to hit you with a range attack, but you can't hit them with a melee attack. They intentionally made this place dark. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Fresh meat. Is this the way I have to go? I feel... yeah. I think we're good. I think whatever I have to encounter up here is then... oh. Or it's the save point. Elzevir, I have come for the soul. So, Otmar sent you to kill me, eh? I can smell him on you. Or is that the stench of the grave? Well. Dollmaker, I have no time for these games. The soul is mine! I earned it! Otmar gave it to me! Then you shall earn it with blood. You shall not have it! Mine! 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 Ah, so the demented type of fay. Cool. Fay Victor! Oh, okay. So every time I hit him, the teddy bears come out to play. Lucky to have made you. <laughs> what an odd little man. Now, to find the soul. <laughs> These teddy bears are tough. Well. Alright then. Elzevir imprisoned the girl's soul in a small fabric doll. The old man's intentions... I shall never know. Yeah, I'm suddenly really happy I decapitated this elf. 
creepy little bastard. Oh yeah. I could use some magic. That barely gave me back any. God damn it. Well, let us leave this place and never speak of it again. Uh, what would be the fastest way to get out of here? I guess just werewolfing it. Excuse me. Ow. Okay, wait. There was a north exit. Ow. Just curious. All oh, right, this was the werewolves. I think there was a place close to Wallendorf. Willendorf. Usendorf. Usendorf. Yes. Let me in. The Spectre of Ariel led me to Willendorf. If I was to defeat the next member of the Circle, I needed to understand his machinations. With this vague advice in mind, I set forth on the road to Willendorf. Okay. So... Oh. Rick, what's a fast way to Willendorf then? Oh, unless I can just okay. Shut up. Boop. And then just stride right up to the king and be all like, "Bitch, give me your kingdom." I mean, it's what I'm gonna do. Just basically plop down the soul into the princess and be all like, Alright, now I'm evicting you. Sup, Kingy? I entered the court with the doll maker's head in one hand and the doll containing the girl's soul in the other. I placed them both before the king and watched his eyes catch fire. With the doll in their possession, the court sorcerers could restore his daughter's soul. I do not know that I can thank you enough, warrior. My kingdom is but a small price to pay for my daughter's life. Willendorf is yours, if you wish it. It is not your kingdom I desire, but your army, Otmar. I require troops to vanquish the horde that descends upon us from the north. Very well. Courtiers, fetch me my armor and mace. There is war to be waged! The scourge of Nosgoth is upon us, friends. We shall die today as heroes, lest we live tomorrow as slaves. Ready thine arms for Nosgoth! In the distance I saw the Nemesis armies march forward, a black tide that would soon wash over the armies of the Hope. Um, but they're wearing red. Just saying. Damn, though. Quick to lay down the death, aren't they? Well, glad they see me as an ally. Ow. Ow. I should magic this shit up as I try to make my way through here. Hello, sirs. Oh. Wonder if I can miss anything in here. Probably not. It's a battlefield, after all. 
All I really gotta do is run forward and hope I don't die. Excuse me. They came at me in throngs. No fervor as strong as that inspired by a madman. The Nemesis armies were fierce and showed no signs of subsiding. So anyways, uh, let us... Rip out a mace. <laughs> oh cool, I can... Uh, I can sup the blood from my allies too. Great. I sated my thirst on warriors of Horde and Hope alike. The dying relinquishing their final moments to give me strength. The tides turned with Otmar's death. I watched as the remaining survivors of the Armies of Hope fled to the safety of the forest. The battle had decided its victor. The fate of Nosgoth now lay in the Nemesis hands. I mean, really also in my hands. Don't forget that. I'm here too. Jesus freaking. Alright. Oh, God. There's a lot of you and only one of me. <laughs> Would any of you happen to be dumb enough to actually... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna take a walk here. Going through the battlefield one day In the merry merry month of May Hope I do not get the dead At once, the battlefield was gone. Where the ground was caked with blood and dirt, there was lush greenery. Where chaos reigned only moments before, this damning calm prevailed. Alas, it seemed I was stranded here. The time-streaming device lay in pieces at my feet. Even the gentle snowfall is lethal to a vampire's well-being. Probably snow is doing me in. All right. Okay. I did try I did some time travel. <laughs> Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! Has your house burned? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? In us! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king, so that I can prepare you for the onslaught. Did I just... kill the mage that was all like, hey? I'm not sure what just happened here. But I'm changing some sort of course of history. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, you. So, am I working forward to try to kill the dude before he gets to. Oh, God. I am. How far in the past am I that this place is not, you know, ripped with bloodshed? If I take my noble guys, would I be able to enter this place relatively peacefully? I think I'm still taking damage from the snow, which... You know, honestly, is one of the silliest things, but at the same time, it still makes sense. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you be. Alright. Hello. Victor! 
So, to clarify here, I went to Willendorf to get the king to get the king's army, but in order to do that, I had to kill an elf who stole his daughter's soul, put it into a doll, creepy, and then proceeded to charge that army forward so that I can get to a certain point where I then the time device activated. And now I'm just kind of back in time. Video games are weird. Of course, then again, I guess... Eh. I guess this little instance of time travel is not... Uh, as bad as it could be like I, I I'm imagining it's working with a split time stream sort of idea not a loop idea because the loop ideas are always the ones where it goes Bleh. looping time stream base plots are always the ones that make me go cross-eyed and try to understand that kind of crap It's like, if I didn't go into the past and the fir Oh, this thing hasn't even been constructed. Ah, so it seemed I was in the land of William the Just. Fifty years before the battle I had just escaped would take place. Oh. <laughs> and he still has... Uh, yep, okay, that does not work. <coughs> his armor... His uh, army is still clad in blood-red armor, it seems. William the Just, you say? Oh, okay. I think I see what happened then. Mr. McSpellcaster there had went and, um... cast a spell on William the Just to make him not as just. Now, as long as I can keep my magic up, I should be able to be just fine in here. What is... Just a tiny room out in the middle of nowhere. Alright. Plus, for every soldier that I kill in this time, is one less soldier that they have to have in the battle that we just had. Yeah? Eh? Eh? See, this is why I can't really do time travel things, because it's like... I don't know. The closest I've ever done to a time travel sort of thing in, like, Dungeons and Dragons is going, oh yeah, you guys travel like 500, th 500 years back into the past when you encounter the Kraken that you had faced before. But it's a baby. Because apparently Krakens age like 500 years or something. I, I have to see what's off to the sides. Nothing. Besides, this allows my magic a small chance to recharge. As I'm more than likely going to be... Ch oh, hello. As I'm more than likely going to be simply charging into the battlefield up there. Into a battlefield, rather. Still, this is definitely a more interesting... lead done time travel thing. If you ask me. I'd want, I, I would easily and happily take one of these guys' great swords, though. Just, just saying. That might just be me, though. Ooh, boulders. Okay. For some reason, I thought the music was stopping. Now it's just looping. What even was the point of these boulders? So I don't know if it's a thing with Nosgoth vampires. But I seem to recall one thing of lore when it comes to vampires is that whenever they drink, they sup the blood of a victim, uh, they also learn a little bit of their memories. Or all their memories. I'm not sure exactly which. And... Realizing that... Suddenly the whole draining that one peasant's blood... 
and getting the knowledge about the mage that came beforehand suddenly makes a lot more sense. Actually, wait, why am I trying to kill wolves with a mace? Incinerate them, I do. And you think the... Oh, another one? I'm trying to think of what time it is. Wait. Are they gonna make me wait until the next full moon? Am I gonna have to wait until the next full moon? I think it was a half moon last, uh, the night before this. Assuming that they don't do some sort of wiggy, timey-wimey thing. Where it's like, oh, you, oh, uh, boy. What sucks is that I'm constantly losing health while I'm just chilling here. Um... Hold up. This one... Can we... I was trying to put it in the middle, but... See if I can't get a little bit of health back from the wolves. That works. As I'm pretty much just waiting now. Please don't be just like a win a uh, waxing moon. Is it waning or no? Waning is when it's turning into a new moon. Waxing is when it's turning into a full moon, right? I don't know my lunar cycles. You would think I do. Running a freaking vampire based uh, D and D game. And with how many times I've been running games that have werewolf, were creatures in them, holy shit! <sighs> Just open, please. It's noon right now, I think. All right, let, I'm going to investigate the other way really quickly. Just see whether or not there's anything more. Oh, well, I feel dumb. But at the same time, I really want to know what's in that cave. Was it one of the things that one of those blood fountains gave me the ability to just ignore damage from sunlight, though? Like, I'll still get hungry, but I won't take damage from the sunlight. I could go exploring for a little bit. See whether or not there's anything of interest within the walls. No, all those huts are uh, closed off. There's only... Alright, time to do something brazen. Ow. The stronghold of William the Just. It was time for me to pay a visit to he who would become the nemesis and force Nosgoth on its knees. Oh no, that's that's an exit point. I have not just doomed myself. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I'm fine. Honestly, I think this flame sword's kind of ridiculous. I love it. Alright. That was the equivalent of a lot of off screen slaughter. Good lord. 
Cause night's coming. It'll be like another four minutes or so until it comes, but it's coming. And I could just be eternally wrong like I usually am about time and whatnot. And I could have just been wasting this whole last, uh, like four or so minutes of a recording. Who knows? We'll know in just a hot second. I don't know how long of a hot second this is going to be. This is what, it's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about just heading into the thing. I could also just check my last video. Little momento. Nope, seems like I'm doing nothing but wasting time because the last time... Last video was uh, a new moon. A new moon is exactly the opposite of a full moon. Yay! Alright, let's try this again. I mean, I've very much proven that I can just kind of put on the shield and wade through my enemies. Excuse me. Sirs. You are impeding my progress towards William the Just. Thank you. Oh, hey, save point. Okay. How big is this place going to be? Or is it just going to be straight up a fight? Okay. It's going to be bigger than I thought it was going to be. How big is it? Can I go through here? Glad they give me some health first. This seems like a direct path to William. I don't mind doing a direct path to Will. Oh. The door is locked. The door is no longer locked. Do I really need to- oh, yeah. About to say, do I really need to shield up against every single one of these guys? And then the projectiles just start coming out, and then I'm like, oh. Yeah, I should. Although magic is not as easily recharged, but... Oh, god. Hate this already. Dear William, why the hell do you set it up so as your domicile has a freaking spike traps? Just just asking for a friend. A friend might be me. I'm not sure I classify myself as a friend though. A nemesis, maybe? That's a bad joke, and I know it. Okay. My assumption, I think, was assumed correctly in that I just needed to hit those three switches. Good lord, what is this place? Chaos is what it is. They picked us! They picked us! Finally die. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like these, um, various... Yes, th these weapons you've provided will see to that. Uh, uh, pray tell, tell Mobius, what game do you play? None, my lord. I only wish to aid you in vanquishing your foes. The weapons are but a token of my goodwill. A and the news you bring, a vampire said to slay me? Where did you come upon such knowledge? It is of no consequence, sire. It was only out of concern for your majesty's life. Perhaps, perhaps. Very well, then. You may leave me now, but should I wish to speak to you... I will know.
your majesty, and I shall be there in time. Hmm. <coughs> oh, somehow he knows I have been, that I am here. This door open? Okay. That was a plot closed door. That's what you all get for trying to slash out a vampire. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> oh god. I, I have to say that this goddamn spell is ridiculous. Stops all damage. I'm just clearing the path on the way back. Stops all damage, trap and enemy alike. Just so ridiculous. And you get it so early on. I think that's one of the other things that makes me go, God. What sucks though is that it feels like this spell is pretty much required to use. Alright. Is there gonna be a save chamber just up here? I only ask because I've made I've just realizing that I've made this episode a little bit longer than I planned to. Oh, there's a thing down here. Is this where I wanna go? Ow. Yes. Very much where I wanted to go. Oh, this was where they had their little meeting. Oh, right, grab it. Actually, wait. I need to drain some of these guys. Thank you. Damn it. Oh, okay. Can I take some of these swords? This looks like a battlefield. This looks like I'm about to face out against the boss. Mm. Boss? Nah, no, save point. Okay. That's fine. Perfect timing, because I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, I uh, guess we're facing off against William the Just. Hmm. Which is also voiced by Tony Ja. They're really getting his money, the uh, money's worth out of paying Tony Cha for his voice. Dude has a wondrous voice. I refuse. I, I want everyone to realize that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.